Hello, welcome to another webinar session by Aranka. Today we would be discussing about Gen AI use cases within the CPG industry. I am Siddharth Ghai, Senior Manager, Digital Strategy and Technology Research at Aranka. For any queries post the session, you can email me at siddharth.ghai at aranka.com. So today we would be talking about the opportunity landscape, the possible application area for Gen AI within the CPG in industry. We would be deep diving into the possible application areas and few highlighting few examples and early adopters of Gen AI within the CPG sector. Then we would be discussing briefly about how the collaboration ecosystem is for the C for enabling Gen AI within the CPG sector. There are few startups, solution providers that are specifically making solutions for the CPG industry to realize the importance of Gen AI. Yeah. So now, how does the opportunity landscape? look like for gen ai within the cpg sector so there are few prominent areas of where gen ai can be adopted so the first and the foremost is product innovation and design this is a very important aspect how gen ai is revolutionizing product innovation and designing so it also it helps in automated product formulation it helps in prototyping and testing then there is a sector uh, where you can forecast the demand, you can manage the inventory using Gen AI and demand prediction, inventory optimization are few of the use cases where Gen AI has revolutionized CPG industry. Then personalized marketing and customer engagement is another aspect wherein you can create marketing content, pro, di have dynamic pricing and promotions for the products. Then Customers mode and engagement is a very prominent application area of Gen AI wherein you can have AI driven chatbots for customer experiences. You can have virtual shopping assistance for customer experiences. Then trend prediction, consumer insights, having consumer preferences analyzed, then predicting marketing trends. Then supply chain optimization is also one of the key application areas for Gen AI wherein logistics planning is is another aspect supplier risk management is another aspect Cust consumer feedback and sentiment analysis wherein you can you get to know how what is the feedback of the consumer what are the preferences of the consumer you can analyze automatically reviews feedback on the products and then automatically tune in your product experiences for the customer so these are few of the application areas and this is how the opportunity landscape look, looks like for Gen AI within the CPG sector. Uh, so today I would be taking you through few of the highlighted in red use cases within this particular presentation. The first is automated product formulation. So PepsiCo has piloted many use cases for gen ai within the product formulation sector and few prominent gen ai use cases are are for the products lays and pepsi wherein in lays they have used gen ai to analyze large data sets from social media consumer feedback and purchasing trends to identify emerging flavors and ingredient preferences so what lays uh, what has been valuable for Lays as a brand is that they have they have been able to identify new flavors. They have been able to identify what aligns best with the consumers, and then probably tame their production in that way. All similarly, Gen AI has been utilized for beverage formulations by Pepsi. So what they have done, they have they have utilize the NAI algorithms to evaluate consumer taste preferences, ingredient interactions, and regulatory requirements across different markets. 
For example, PepsiCo has explored GenAI for adjusting sugar levels and balancing flavors of flavors in drinks to meet local tastes and health trends. So this is this is where customer experiences, personalization and leveraging of GenAI algorithms to make the product more customer friendly is something what PepsiCo has done within two of its products that are Lay's and Pepsi. Then there is another application area of GenAI within the CPG sector that is inventory optimization. Unilever has utilized GenAI for inventory optimization and few notable use cases by Unilever is demand forecasting, supply chain planning and lead times and stock cost reduction. The first area where how Unilever is driving inventory optimization is through demand forecasting wherein Unilever uses machine learning and generative AI to enhance demand forecasting and optimize inventory. So what does Unilever do in this case is it analyzes the historical sales data, consumer behavior patterns and external factors and utilizing generative AI algorithms, it demands accurate demand forecasts. This helps company maintain optimum inventory levels and reduce both overstock and stock out situations. Further, Gen AI driven supply chain planning. So here, Unilever Gen AI driven tools enable autonomous supply chain planning. These systems automatically adjust inventory based on real time demand, reducing manual intervention. And also another area where Gen AI helps is reduction in lead time and stock costs. With Gen AI, Unilever has been able to reduce lead times between production and distribution ensuring products reach stores quickly with minimum stock buildup. So these are the few areas where Gen AI has been very important driver for inventory optimization and specifically for Unilever as a use case. Further dynamic pricing and promotion. So this is a very important and a very used capability of Gen AI wherein it, it, it helps you understand the consumers specifically at a very depth level and Unilever, Nestle and PepsiCo has been pioneering these strategies wherein they are utilizing predictive analytics technology of Gen AI. They can adapt the pricing strategy and marketing spend, marketing strategies as per the consumer demand. So what Unilever has been doing in this area is by employing Gen AI predictive analytics, they can adapt pricing strategies based on current market conditions, ensuring both profitability and alignment with consumer demand. Further, Nestle utilizes Gen AI in its pet care division, specifically leveraging smart technology and Gen AI powered data to offer personalized product recommendations and promotions based on consume, customer behavior. Further, PepsiCo has applied Gen AI in its promotional campaigns, utilizing advanced algorithm to sort through vast data sets such as sales history, seasonality, and consumer customer preferences. These Gen AI tools help identify patterns, allowing them to refine dynamic pricing models and promotional activities in real time. So overall, the, this is a this is a very important application area of Gen AI wherein they are able to customize their promotion activities, customize their marketing activities based on the market dynamics, based on the customer preferences, and also they can dynamically price their products so that it is optimally placed for the consumers to buy it. Further, the virtual shopping assistance is also one of the prominent use case of Gen AI, wherein few prominent players such as Walmart and PNG has enabled those technologies wherein they have integrated generative AI into its online shopping platform. So for example, if we talk about Walmart, customers planning a party or searching for specific items can simply describe their needs, right? And the AI assistance will curate a list of items. So this is where you are enhancing the customer experience by integrating Gen AI into their online shopping platform. What a customer just does, it doesn't need to add all the details, all the items that he wants for a particular occasion. He just he, he can just say that I am planning a particular event and the list of items that are required for that particular event would, would come up and 
it would be built on that particular platform similarly png has been utilizing generative ai in its beauty segment wherein it is helping the customers select the products basis the skin tone basis the skin type personal beauty goals so this is where png beauty category has been leveraging generative ai into its shopping platform wherein it is offering more personalized and convenient shopping experience for the users moving forward forward consumer preference analysis this is also one of the prominent and important aspect of gen ai for the cpg sector wherein coca cola has been a pioneer in this particular application area wherein it has implemented gen ai models to create personalized beverage recommendation based on consumer taste profiles making their offering more tailored to individual preferences so this particular aspect wherein they consume they get consumer data from various touch points and then you they help create a personalized beverage recommendation based on consumer taste profiles so this is where they are very they are going very personal for for the consumers and building a trust at a very nth level with the consumer also pepsico uses generative ai driven analytics to better understand consumer preferences so companies like coca cola pepsico have been leveraging gen ai to utilize and analyze how consumer preferences are being changed over time how the consumer preferences are related to the seasons related to the market dynamics and then accordingly they can provide product innovation recommendation internally they can provide personalized marketing campaigns to the users further this is a very very important aspect of gen ai wherein they have supplier risk management also one of the use case for generative ai within the cpg sector wherein there is a very prominent tool used by walmart to negotiate with its suppliers autonomous autonomously so the tool is known as pactum wherein the system evaluates suppliers based on wide range of data price past performance market conditions and help streamline procurement processes by minimizing human intervention similarly coach industries and also leverage generative ai for supplier management it is using an it is using supplier data and st to streamline the risk evaluation across supply chain ensuring more responsive risk management so what what they have they are doing in the supplier risk management ecosystem is that they are autonomously negotiating with the supplier ecosystem they are leveraging the supplier data leveraging the data that is there with across the supply chain supplier ecosystem to actually prevent any shoot ups to actually prevent any risks that arise within the supplier ecosystem and then accordingly leveraging generative ai to actually negotiate actually analyze data and then managing the risk for the overall supply supplier management further personalized consumer experiences is something that is driven by generative ai so Kraft Heinz has also utilized generative AI for personalized consumer experiences. Kraft Heinz has centralized and streamlined its consumer data into a first party data warehouse. This setup enables them to personalize marketing campaigns and enhance customer interactions through tailored shopping experiences. Similarly, Nestle leverages proprietary Gen AI system to gain insights into consumer data which drives personalized marketing strategies and product innovation. so here generative ai has been utilized to understand the consumer preferences understand the first party data the data that is very much related to the consumer and then personalizing the marketing campaigns according to that enhancing the product innovation according to that and allowing personalized promotions and development of products the, that resonate directly with the consumer so the, this is also a prominent and a very important application area of gen ai then moving forward i'll highlight few startups and solution providers that are there within the ecosystem and that are enabling the companies within the cpg sector to translate and and see what what how the solutions of gen ai can be implemented within their industry and within their organization so acuvate is one of the technology solution provider that specializes in digital transformation 
uh, CPG companies can use Accuate generative AI solutions to tailor marketing messages and product recommendations based on consumer behavior. So, what does Accuate platform do? It can it has the capability to understand the product recommendations. It has the capability to understand the consumer behavior, history prefer history purchases, and then provide marketing messages and product recommendation to the consumer. Further, Data Robot is also a machine learning platform that helps businesses build and deploy AI models. CPG companies can harness Data Robot's capability to analyze consumer behavior and optimize product offering based on predictive insights. Further, Kogo Labs is also one of the one of the platform provider that helps companies, including those in the CPG space, to optimize marketing and product development strategies. It helps companies to analyze the market trends and consumer behaviors and which can aid in new product launches salsify is also a platform wherein it provides ai and data analytics capabilities which can create tailored product experiences that resonate with the consumers zalando it is a e-commerce platform that utilizes generative ai for driving personalized shopping experiences and inventory management it it has ai driven recommendations that is based upon the previous history of the user it can provide product suggestion it can provide targeted promotions to the user reciprocal labs focuses on using generative ai to create personalized content cpg brands can utilize reciprocal labs to improve customer engagement and retention through tailored marketing campaigns. Uh, last but not the least, Aglo, Algo Lux is focuses on AI solutions. Their technology can automate product catalog management, improving searchability and overall shopping experiences for the consumers. So lastly, I have touched upon few of the solution providers and startups that are there in the area of uh, data analytics, AI, generative AI, and machine learning platforms that help drive change and drive implementation of generative ai for some of the big cpg players that are there and that are that that want to re realize the potential of generative ai within their business models so in this session today we touched upon few of the use cases for generative AI within the CPG sector. And we also touched upon how the collaboration ecosystem is there for the startups and solution providers within the area of generative AI implementation for the CPG sector. Any any questions that you would have for the sessions, you can reach out to me at sadhar.gai at Thank you for joining the session.